I ended up going to prison, didn't I? HMP Belmarsh, or as I came to know it, horrible motherfucking piss old Belmarsh, the filthiest, most violent and godforsaken prison in England. Yeah, that was where that joke of a judge sent me. I didn't have a criminal record. I never had that mindset. You know, I couldn't even throw a fucking boxing match, but they threw me in there with those ardent murderers, rapists, serial offenders. There's a reason why they call that place a meat grinder. Excuse me, cunt. Excuse me, cunt. Jaw seems to be healing nicely. You know, they would have given you the normal dentures if you just asked. Yeah, I did. You should have said, please. You know, if it bothers you that much, when you get out of prison, just get them switched. It's an easy procedure. Do you know what? I don't mind them. They were really scary as fuck. Side, all right, don't worry about Nothing it. Nothing to be proud of. I'm not proud of it. I'm just worried about your son. I don't, I don't know what to say, to do. I spoke to another lawyer. Yeah. But he ain't got the money to pay him. Leave it to you. What's Lincoln said about it? Oh, Lincoln don't talk to me about that sort of thing. You know, Lincoln does his own thing. Has he said anything about me? He says it's your own fault for getting in trouble. Fuck's sake, man. Don't talk to me in that language. I bring you up to be better than the animals in here. Don't stoop to their level. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Lincoln has his work. And whatever you say about him, he ain't in jail. 
He ain't the one keeping me awake at night worrying. Lincoln needs to come down here and talk to me, all right? You gotta tell him to come here and talk to me. <laughs> I'll tell him. No touching. place on the 28th of June and it thereby finds you guilty as charged. I don't understand this, right? What do you want me to do? They're coming at me with a knife. It's self-defense, clearly, right? What do you want me to do? Let them stab me. Order. No, I'm telling you, right, there's people in this prison. They're out to get me. I need a transfer. I need it today. Your sentence is hereby extended by one year. Please take the time alone to reconsider your life decisions. I'll consider the fact that you're a fucking punch. For what? Fucking defending myself, that's for what? You fucking stupid cunts. Come on, you haven't got a fucking clue, have you? You sit there with your fucking, fucking stupid tie on. You haven't got a fucking clue. Nothing could have prepared me for the shit that I was about to go through in this hellhole. So I had to make a choice. If I was going to get through this stretch in one piece. Talk to me, mate, yeah? Me, yeah? I was gonna have to treat this like a fight. You fucking want it? Bam, bam. That's what I'm talking about, mate, yeah? Come back there and get some more! I had to change myself into something I didn't even recognize anymore. I'll fucking take all five of you. Bam, 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 bam. Whoa, fucking come on! As the months and the weeks rolled by, I slowly but surely turn myself into what you see before you now. A hardened, rusty nail. You see, the body can be strengthened to a degree, but it's your mind that makes you impervious to defeat. Just like the skin on your knuckles, the mind can be made callous as fuck. But only pain can do that. So I learn how to take pain. But more importantly, I'll learn how to dish it out. The problem I had was why. Why did every fucker in that place want me dead? I mean, it didn't make any sense to me. I could work it out. And then one day, it all became clear. Anyone else fucking want it? Anyone else? Huh? All right. Hey, that's it. Through the nose, through the mouth. All right. Probably a bit concussed, mate. 
Don't worry, the guards will land in a minute. Nothing personal, Kane, you know. Nothing personal. What's he doing then? Hey? What you've got to gain from it other than a fucking skull frat show up? It was worth it, mate. It fucking would have been. 20 grand. We're talking about 20 grand. Well, what are you talking hey, about? 20 grand? Off. From where? Train was looking us up, yeah? <laughs> I think your brother's bankrolling it. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? My brother? I ain't joking, yeah? I only did it for the cake. My brother did this. You say you my fucking brother did this? My own brother? My own fucking brother? Why'd he do it, Hyde? I'm oh, sorry, sweetheart. I've no idea what you're talking about. Don't you deny that. Don't you fucking dare. You my brother the price tag put my head, didn't you? Dead Edgar! I can accept it. From a dirty, conniving little bastard like you, but I cannot accept that from him. Week after week they came, one after another, sometimes more than one. Do you know why it didn't matter to me? Keep them coming, I said. Bring on all comers. Come and have a fucking go, mate! The more that came, the stronger my mind got, and my daily existence became about survival. your own napalm in prison, did you? Well, you can. And it fucking burns. We hereby find you guilty, and your sentence, Mr. Burgess, will be extended by two years. Five weeks segregation to commence post-haste. Fuck you. Blood on your clothes. 
No, I'm adding an additional year to your sentence for being a part of the altercation. Likewise, six months segregation. something I need to get off my chest first. It's not easy to say, but I'll just say it. I've got the cancer. I've known for a few months, but I didn't want to bother anyone. I start chemo on Tuesday. They say it, it might be quite tough, so I don't think I'll be able to get in to see you much. Sorry, man. You don't have to be sorry. Your brother's looking after me. Every day. Bless him, I don't, I don't know what I'd do without him. We'll be okay. And what was it you wanted to tell me about, Lincoln? Oh, don't worry about that, Mum's nothing. Oh, go on. No, nah, that was... What? Go on. I'm glad Lincoln's looking after you, that's... that's... It's a way off my shoulders, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're all fighters in this family, aren't we? Look, look at you. Yeah, we're fighters. Right, time's up. Come on, let's go. Come on! I never really knew what your pancreas did till my mum's got rid of with cancer. I still don't, really. She was a fighter, my mum. She fought that cancer longer than anyone thought she could. So they let me out for just five hours to go see her. Sent me with a six-man security detail, one paddy wagon, two cars. She died before I even got there. I didn't know. I knew she was ill. Sorry for your loss, she was a fine woman. I did know that some lag had done for a couple of screws and made a break from the hospital. I just didn't connect the dots. Maybe you should have done. So how the fuck do you manage that then?
story about your mom. I'm sure she was a lovely lady. But if you want to see her more often, you should keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> You go. It's all right, mate. You're safe in here. Yeah. I didn't think you had it in you. Well, I'm not the same bloke you left out in the cold, Hyde. I don't suppose you are. Right, that's it. I need a piss. Go in your fucking trousers. What? You heard. That is inhumane. I've got eight pints on board. To be fair, none of us had planned on being held hostage today. I need a piss as well. Go in one of them bottles, then. Nah. I need a shit. Piss in one of the bottles and you can shit your pants. Uh, might want to rethink that. Pretty sure none of us will be stuck in here bringing this one's guts. Look, whatever you're gonna do, figure it out and do it quick. Fucking zombie looking bastard. Stop embarrassing yourself! <laughs> Enough of you and your silly panto. If you're going to do something, crack on, because I am bored of your bullshit. Oh, you want me to crack on, do you? Yeah? Tell you what, then. Turn around. Get on your knees. Go on. There you go. That's a good pig. When my brother gets here, we'll kick things off nicely. But until then, do me a favor and shut your fucking mouth or you'll be next. You know, I don't remember you being so trappy. Or so gangster. since the blue bag day. When you sent me to steal from Mabel Medell, I could have never imagined where it would have led me to.
save a little. 49. Mother of three. Grandmother of two. Worked as a dinner lady at the local comprehensive. Died earlier this evening whilst undergoing surgery related to a traffic accident. It wasn't my fault. You stole the purse, mate. She chased you and she ran into traffic. That's a manslaughter charge. That and the robbery, well, they'll put you away for this game. But we're not really interested in that, mate. Does the term cuckoo mean anything to you? Cuckoo? As in the fucking bird that can't build a nest, so it steals one from another fucking bird. Oh, right, yeah, that cuckoo. It means fuck all to me, mate. So your brother? Runs the largest entrapment and cuckoo scan in the city. For the last three years, we've been working with people that your brother's persecuted. Mabel Little refused to cooperate, but we're observing her. Which means you're kind of fucked, doesn't it, mate? I want a lawyer. You're incommunicado, boyo. You don't get a bloody lawyer. Usually starts with a single family member. Black sheep. Idiot brother, you know, your type. Lincoln. Hide any of these other heavies that we know of. They'll end up paying the family a little visit, won't they? And they'll say, well, so-and-so owes us a little money. And he's in line for a little belting. But if you run us this little errand, we'll let him off. Family's too happy to oblige, aren't they? Give them a little package. Tell them that there's some drugs or some money in the package and tell them to go to such and such address. What they don't tell them is they hire another hoodlum to rob them on the way, mate, right? All of a sudden, there's a catastrophic amount of money in that package. Now, this is the entrapment part. The gang members want more, don't they? So they show up at the fucking house. Yeah? They want the doll. They want the check. They want the cash. They take the fucking car. They move into the house. They run the operations from the house. And they use the car to run the errands. They stay on the property. Until all the assets have been destroyed. And then they just move on to the next. Your brother. He does this, Hyde does this, and you fucking do it too. The fuck I do? I've got no idea what you're talking about, mate. Albert Mitchell, Pete Singlehurst, James Webb, Eric Godley, Sandy Park, Miriam Silverman, and now Mabel Little. And there's 150 or so other families. Children have been orphaned because of your brother's fucking business, so you listen to me. And you listen to me very carefully. Manslaughter will be the least of your fucking problems, mate. I'm throwing organised crime at you. I'm a fucking lawyer, all right? You're listening to me. I want a lawyer. I don't know anything about this shit. What about my rights? Your rights are to give up your brother, mate. Them's the only rights you fucking have. This operation implodes without your brother. Maybe then a hundred or so other people can move on with their lives. Come on, mate. Give me your brother. Let's just finish this right now. How about bollocks? How about that? You're choosing the hard road because you're going away for a very, very long time. Sarge! Come on in, King. Let's have a little you and me time. I don't know anything about this. the devil in me too, Cain. But I learned to accept my wickedness. I learned to apply it for good. You see, I have always been good with my fists. I want to do this to everyone that doesn't just bend over and get fucked, man, does he? Oh, he wouldn't approve of this. But then we don't have to tell him everything. Now do we? You are the blood. Now, well, if you touch me again, I'll fucking wreck you, tough. Now you can do that with your hands cut behind your back. 
Interrogation room floor. Do you know what we do to catch the piss on a carpet? We rub the dirty fucking noses in it. Not so damn lippy now, are you, boy? I'm gonna hurt you, Kane. Open up! Open this fucking door, one I folded! That fucking time. Bez, I bolt them doors. Don't do anything stupid. What's happening? Why this fucking door shut? Well, lads, come on in. Don't be shy. Make yourselves at home. Miss, shut those fucking doors now. You're not going anywhere. Do it! It's so good to see you, brother. The only thing that matters.